Today we're going through an Amazon baby registry. All the links will be in the description. Okay, let's jump right into this baby registry. So we have one of these large playpen areas. I keep seeing these. Who uses them? What do you use them for? Is it because you have large pets? Is it just because you don't want to baby proof your whole house? You just want a specific area baby proof? Also, do you have a large enough home to fit these and where are you putting them? Curious minds. Now we got this like portable bassinet play space. This could be a nifty item. It could be something that you use outside. Say you're going to a park or a picnic. I don't know if you would use it as like a sleeping item. Like it says bassinet. Don't know if you'd use that. Also the fact that it's round, I feel like they're probably gonna outgrow it pretty quickly. So it probably has a very limited life. I had something similar but I purchased it for about $4 at a garage sale because I knew it was a short term item and not necessarily a frequently used item either diaper cream like spatulas. I think you only need one. This isn't something I would keep in the diaper bag. It's just for at home if they are struggling with diaper rash. Now, if you have a lower and upper level and you have a changing station on both, maybe you would want two, but you definitely don't need four. Diapers. I like seeing diapers on a registry because it tells people what brand you are interested in trying and what size you would prefer. Okay, Aquaphor, I don't like to talk about creams, lotions, that kind of stuff, because I think that's a very personal decision on what you put on baby's skin. Now we got the peanut style changing pad. I changed my baby on the floor on a quilt or on our guest bed on a quilt. I assume this would go on a dresser of some sort, but again, I don't think it's a huge necessity. Now we got more diapers, different brands. So maybe they're trying out a different, maybe they're trying out some different types. More Aquaphor, we got water wipes, Huggies size three, but it's not a bad thing. You'll thank yourself later when you pull those out of the closet and you don't have to pay for them. And we got some different kind of huggy size too. Okay. Again, diapers are going to get used. So it's at least very practical. Now it looks like we have the bottle drying mat grass type thing. And then a tree. I don't think those are necessary. I think you can dry all the baby parts and pieces on a towel and then you can put the towel away when you're done. And, and it's something that just sits out on the countertop and makes your kitchen feel more cluttered. Next, we got a like portable high chair type thing. These often will clip on the table and people will use them at restaurants. Sometimes I will say, make sure the table is sturdy, not a risk factor as far as safety. So be careful on that. We got some burp claws. I love the color here. I love that it's very gender neutral. The fact it's a six pack, I think I would get two packs of that, maybe three, and then they all match and you're done. Okay, next we have some bibs. These are like more like a smock full body bib. Some people would use these for messy baby food, others for even like painting vibes. They're probably a bit more of a pain to wash. I don't know if you can just throw them in the washer. Not a bad buy, not a bad buy. It's at least a practical item. Now we got some placemats. These are like for restaurants. They're the disposable ones. I didn't use that, but I, I can't say I blame you as a parent if you want to. Like I do respect that. A bottle warmer for travel. I don't think that's a necessity. If you're traveling, maybe just let it be at room temperature. I think the grooming kit is typically not the way to go. I would buy specific items that I want instead of the whole grooming kit altogether. If the grooming kit has a thermometer. Here we have another thermometer. Skip the grooming get just buy the thermometer you want and then we have like this nose um nasal aspirator is there one in here there's kind of like some rinky dinky ones you know just the squeeze ones again it's just like repeating items okay it looks like some pacifiers cool do your own research there humidifier i don't know why people need these i can't relate <laughs> maybe it's my climate and we get some tummy tippy passies they're supposed to be very breast like it says breast like so the shape of them interesting that we have two different styles some people go for that some don't oh we have another thermometer not sure why we got two this one was ear and this one looks like it's ear as well so interesting there lotion lotion <sighs> okay another basics kit so kind of redundant once again i i struggle with that i struggle with that all right we got a shusher we did not buy a portable sound machine we have the one that's in our kids bedrooms and then we use an old cell phone we downloaded an app on it, just a white noise type app. It was free. We use that in the cell phone. We keep the charger with it. It's about the size of say a shusher only. We don't need to have like batteries to keep it going. We just charge it as you would a phone. Crib sheets, those look very cute. I like that. Again, these are very like gender neutral, meaning you can use them for multiple children and it's not a big deal. Cute little blanket. Love the style there on the, on the colorings of everything. This is a breast milk chiller reusable storage container. So you're pumping and then you're putting your milk in here. That seems really expensive. I think people have figured it out without this item for a very long time. Okay, Mom Frida nursing pads. I just use nursing pads to catch leaks. I didn't necessarily use like a cooling pad or anything like that. Now we have the Hakka, just a lid to the Hakka. The Hakka should just come with the lid. All right, so you got this one here. I suppose that lid goes to it. 
I don't feel like that's really right, personally. I used a Hakka. What I did was I just put it in a coffee mug. So when it's spill, I, mine came with like a plug. So I did use that. Just really tried to get mine to the kitchen on the kitchen counter as quickly as possible. So we got some breast pump wipes. In general, I wouldn't use wipes. I would try to like wash it out in a sink. But if you are on the go and you just want to wipe it out so it's not having that, you know, sticky milk that's just like getting stuck in there. I, I get that for on the go. Definitely would not be using those at home or even at work. At work, I would still try to find a sink and rinse. More cooling packs for breastfeeding. I did not use these. I actually have a video that's all about breastfeeding supplies. So I can link that at the end or if it's not there, it'll be in the description and it goes over various breastfeeding supplies if I use them and sort of my review of them specifically. So if you're into breastfeeding, check that out. Now let's see, oh, this is a pump, like a cordless hands-free pump. So it's like fits into your bra. You walk around, you wear it. You don't want to do any acrobatics, but for the most part, you're good to go. If you're going to be an exclusive pumper, you want one of these. If you're going to return to work, it's probably the way to go if you can afford it. But there's also going through your insurance and trying to get a free pump that way. I went the route of getting a free breast pump through insurance. And that was the right route for me because I was not a pumper. I directly nursed my baby. So it would have been a waste for me to spend $350 on a nice pump. Okay, some steaming bags for pump parts. I don't know how I feel about that. It feels very strange to me. But again, I wasn't a pumper. So not my expertise. Okay, this is the car seat camera. So traditionally it would be a mirror. So you, the screen would be in the back, meaning like the mirror, you would see that through your rear view mirror and it's like mirror to mirror, you see baby. This new thing is a camera is facing your baby and then you see the screen in front of you. Some pros and some cons, you have a larger screen in front of you, potentially blocking your view. It might be safer though than trying to look through your mirror at baby. And a mirror pointed at baby can create hot spots, possibly on your baby or in the car seat. Like people are starting to talk about that more and more. So these are growing in popularity. And for $30, that's not a bad price. I will be honest, that's not bad at all. Okay, now we got a portable stroller fan. This can clip onto anything. I love this because it's something you can use forever. It ain't going away. Oh my gosh, we got the Upa Vista. This is $1,000. <laughs> and I think you're getting the stroller and the bassinet. So I do not believe you're getting the actual car seat. I don't think that's included in this. Oof, duh, that's expensive. All right, and then you got the stroller organizer, which we're gonna get the stroller, we gotta get that. It's separate because you didn't pay enough, you know. And then an extra car seat base, which again, they're very expensive. The up, I mean, up as a baby is expensive. Try to find a knockoff would be my recommendation. Okay, we got a mommy like tummy or belly binder. Okay, we got some pacifier clips. Cool. Two is about what you need. You don't need to get a zillion of those. Then we got another changing pad. So we had one of these a long time ago in the register. It's like a peanut brand one. Not sure why we're getting two. That's interesting. Maybe you do have two changing stations upstairs and downstairs, but I wouldn't get them. Just my personal opinion. Now we've got some stain treater. Okay, don't know anything about that specifically. Uh, Zara B's medicine. I will say I have one time purchased some sort of cough syrup or something from them and it was thick. It's like more natural. Okay, this is a little egg night light. It looks like it sits on a charger, so it looks like it can move around the room. I don't really think that's super necessary. We use the hatch light for our children. Okay, one of these hip seat carriers. These look really nifty. Like you see people out and about with them and I get it. You look kind of dumb wearing it, but I do get it. Your kid wants to be held a lot and it really stinks when they want to be held and then you're stuck pushing a stroller. If your kiddo's a clinger and you know you're going to end up holding them, you're better off having this than juggling everything else. So I get those. I never used one. I never tried one. They kind of started coming out when I was on the end of my baby carrying, but they seem really cool. I would consider getting one second hand because that is a bit pricey for an item that you don't know if you're going to love and use. All right. looks like some are electrolytes, probably for mom with breastfeeding. Very good of mom to be conscious. I mean, I don't know that I would include items like that on my registry. Some people are into that. Some aren't, but I at least like that she's thinking about herself and taking care of herself. Now we got a breast pump bag. So that probably goes with her pump. Helps keep things clean and organized. No big deal there. All right, we got a swing. I'm not really for the swing. I feel like swings take up a lot of space. I would rather just get a bouncer. Air purifier. I'm not like real versed on that. So if you want to do that, great. Like keep your baby healthy and the air good. Like awesome. Okay, this is just a pumping bra. So pumping bras, I wonder if this is, it looks like it's like both ways where you can wear the pump in or it could be a pump that goes through. Sometimes there's holes. So like the pump has like a flange on it. That'll be on the inside of the bra. You can pump without holding it. You're not going to hold it. The bra holds it up for you. So pumping bras are good. 
Now we got a collapsible little tub for washing like pump parts and bottle parts. You don't need this. You could go to Dollar Tree and get a dollar tub and make that your breast stuff. If you're worried about like sanitation and stuff. But like I would just use one of my mixing bowls and feel comfortable with that. To each their own on that. I feel like that's kind of a gimmick and kind of a rip off personally. This looks like a gut health hair growth supplement. This looks like it's got everything in it. Not sure. It seems like they got a lot going on there. Then we got some after ease for post birth contractions. So sometimes when you breast, you have contractions and it's just your uterus like sh shrinking down after delivering baby. I don't remember experiencing much of that personally. Okay, just some hand wipes. Okay, changing pad liners. So I'm guessing that goes on those two changing pads we saw earlier, which these are rectangle. They don't even look like they're gonna match the shape. So I'm not sure on that. Constipation support. I wonder if this is for mom. No, it's for baby. See, I feel like on that, you're jumping the gun. You don't even know if they're going to have an issue and you're just like assuming they are. I would chill on that. <sighs> Pain and fever for infants. Okay. I can respect to being prepared in advance, but sometimes you get too far prepared in advance and you start wasting your money on things or baby shower, I guess other people's money, but still. All right. A little cart for in the bathroom. If this is just for postpartum, I don't agree with buying a specific item. Okay, hand sanitizer. This is probably for when people come to see baby. Cool, whatever, float your boat. A little cozy blanket. Everybody always gets a few blankets, no big deal there. Looks like some ear protection. So I don't know if you have something planned where you're gonna take baby and it's gonna be noisy. Fourth of July, monster truck rally. I don't know. We've made do without having earphones. I guess we just haven't taken our babies anywhere that was concerning when they were little. And so we just kind of managed without. But if you're regularly somewhere that's noisy, not a bad buy. Okay, a baby breathe up bottle washer. So this is basically, I think, a tiny little washing machine for your bottle stuff. I think for $300, that's a little ridiculous. Personally, I just want it. And also, if you know, it says sterilizer and dryer. So why did you buy the drying rack if this thing dries it? Just saying, less clutter. And we are done. So that wraps that one up. All right, overall, I feel like that baby registry was very concerned with like health and wellness items. I can't necessarily recommend those, but look into them, do your own research. A couple things that I believe were missing were a car seat and a diaper bag, so keep that in mind. And finally, I noticed a lot of pumping supplies, so maybe mom is returning to work and needs those supplies to make do during that like situation of pumping at work, transporting milk home, that whole situation. Now I will say if you are a mom who is gonna be a stay-at-home mom or somehow is able to be with your baby, if you work from home, I do truly recommend direct breastfeeding. And this isn't about health. I don't care if you're pumping milk or if you're feeding them formula out of a bottle. Direct nursing can be such a time saver compared to bottle feeding. So I'm gonna link a video at the end here. And if you can't find it, check the description box. And it's all about reasons why direct nursing is easier than bottle feeding. So check that out. There's a couple great ones in there, such as no washing, pump parts, or bottle parts. Check that out. And I hope to see you back here for another baby registry review.